Hey guys, Nick from Vape Meat here. Aspire has been a leader in the vape industry for years now. When pod systems blew up, they were all over it with devices like the Nautilus AIO and Breeze 2. Their newest pod system is the AVP. It improves on what Aspire has worked really hard to create, affordable and accessible vape products. Let's see what it's all about. Inside the box will be the AVP unit with two pods. I'm always happy to see more than one pod included in the box, especially for new users, accidentally burning out a pod is something I saw pretty regularly working in a vape shop. You'll also receive a micro USB cord and a lanyard. The AVP has a 700mAh battery that charges at 1A. The pods hold 2ml of e-juice and use 1.2 ohm nichrome coils. It also offers wattage adjustment. You can cycle between 8, 10, and 12 watts. To set the kit up, fill your pod with e-juice. The fill port is spring-loaded. Push the tip of your bottle into the port and squeeze. Today I'm using Coco Crumb from our Dolce line. To avoid spilling, make sure you completely stop squeezing before taking the bottle out. Once your pod's full, let it sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes to let the coil inside saturate. After that, push the pod in. Finally, click the power button on the front 5 times to turn the unit on. To adjust your wattage, hit the power button twice to change modes. It'll be green at 12 watts, blue at 10 watts, and red at 8 watts. After using the AVP for some time, it's easy to say this is the best pod system Aspire has released. Something I wasn't a fan of on the Breeze 2 and Nautilus AIO was how plasticky and cheap feeling they were. The AVP is mostly composed of metal and is surprisingly heavy for its size. It really has a premium feel in the hand. The look is very clean and the carbon fiber is a nice change from the resin finishes we've been seeing a lot lately. I have no complaints about the flavor. It's definitely better than older Aspire units and on par with newer devices like the Nord and Calibern. The AVP has a pretty good mouth to lung draw, but here's a tip for those of you that like a tighter pull. On the side of the device where the lanyard goes, it also doubles as an airflow slot. Covering it while using the AVP will significantly tighten how the device pulls. Having only one option for pods is fine, but I wouldn't be against seeing some mesh pods for the AVP. I found the firing sensor to be way more responsive than other devices I've used. Even light pulls will activate it with no issues. I've gotten zero spitback or leakage from the AVP as well. Easily one of the best features is consistent wattage output. Whatever wattage you set it at, it'll pull the same way it does at a full charge even when the battery is low. With casual use, you'll be able to get through the day, but with heavier use you might find yourself charging it sooner. Also keep in mind the wattage you set it to will affect battery life. All things considered, the AVP has been a pretty solid device and it's priced right at around $40 Canadian. You can pick one up in store or online at vapeme.ca. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.